Hello friends, hope you are doing great. In today's video, we will go through the white paper of AdHive. I have already downloaded the white paper and I will try to summarize the key important details over the next few minutes. So welcome and let's get started. AdHive will be the first AI controlled influencer marketing platform with blockchain technologies. It would allow brands to place a native video ad on the unlimited number of influencer channels. The core mission of AdHub is to remove boundaries between brands and influencers. Here is a diagram explaining the flow. Advertisers submit the details along with depositing the funds. The platform announces requirement to the influencers. Further, AI model takes care of appropriate placement of ad followed by automatic transfer of ADH tokens to the influencer. Upon video quality assessment and forecast of efficiency, community members get rewarded and advertisers get reports of the whole campaign at the end. As we can see in the chart, Global advertising industry is evolving rapid fast. It is set to reach 584 billion US dollars uh, this year and expected to increase to 757 billion dollars by 2021. United States continues to be largest advertising market and China, Japan, the UK and Germany are still representing the major shares in the global spending. The multifold increase in digital spending cross 200 billion dollars mark in 2017. According to Magna, video advertising and social media are the key drivers of this growth. A recent AIB report shows 67% increase in just last two years. Native advertising has rapidly become new reality. TV audience is getting older, print and radio sales will seem to be decreasing. 50% users never click on an online ads and there is over 30% of global growth in ad block uses year on year. Native advertising has skyrocketed over past few years and it has reached 40 billion US dollars in 2016. It is further expected to climb more than 85 billion dollars by 2020. According to Adweek, 74% of internet users now use social media prior to making any purchase decisions. It is cost effective and has greater audience engagement. According to Nelson Catalina Solutions, influencer marketing content delivers 11 times higher rate of interest. Another segment of native video advertising with great potential is game streaming. Global eSport audience was expected to reach 385 million and can further grow another 50% by 2020. Let's have a look at the project overview. There are millions of influencers in the world but brands work with a limited numbers due to lack of transparency and reliability. Adha will create distributed network of influencers with clear rules and quality with automated operations and payments. So what is native advertising? So native ad is native advertising in is uh, in which the ad matches the form, feel and function of content of the media in which it appears meaning non-cooked up. Native ads are organically integrated into the content of a particular source of information and are not overly noticeable or distracting. With AdHype, there is no time wasted on point-to-point -point communication between advertisers and influencers. Advertisers just need to put their requirement on AdHype platform 
and rest is taken care automatically by uh, ad hive because they involve influences and take th things forward from there okay let's move further let's have a look at the problem and respective solutions offered by ad hive so one of the problem for advertiser is lack of video contact with target audience and under the age of 25 watch almost no tv another problem is tools and effective for working with influencers almost 90 percent plus of ad budgets go to top level influencers difficulties of working with influencers so with ad hub platform you don't need to spend time whereas in in general it takes a lot of time with between the conversation and uh, come to a conclusion lack of information about video content which makes influencers very difficult to decide what shows when and how frequently for influencers it is a problem to appropriate to get appropriate supply of advertisers offering monetized blogs all these are addressed by ad hype so the advantages for advertisers are that analysis of all connected video uh, channels to investigate their volume and target mentions uh, fair and reliable assessment of native video campaign and they don't need to interact for influencers they get off they get a lot of uh, work without uh, going to pitch in and find advertisers they receive rewards based on daily calculations and overall it helps both the parties okay let's look at the team Dimitri is uh, who is responsible for the project development is also a co-founder has more than 10 years of experience into sales and business development he was in fact working earlier with Groupon. Strategy and HR, um, another co-founder, Vadim, is also a software development team lead and he has been architect for more than 15 years. Another co-founder, Alexander, is involved in the token model development and other financial details. And there are a bunch of other team members. Let's have a look to the partners. They have partner with Bing, Adex, Bancor. So how it works? Adha will build an environment where each participant will be motivated to act and develop the platform. So all parties can get involved and this is how the flow will look like. So advertiser will create a campaign. They will choose the audience and they will deposit the required amount of tokens. This platform will take care of most of the things in the beginning and they will get in touch with influencers who will complete the task and then it will go to community and uh, that is how artificial intelligence will keep tracking and eventually there will be a report. This is exactly what we just spoke earlier. Okay, I will move further. I will leave some of these details. Let's look further because these are you can go through these details um, if you wish to. Okay, let's look at token sale. Let's look at what are the technologies used. So Adha platform is a web service with integrated AI modules for video and speech recognition. So they will be using different, um, they will have uh, different IP ownerships and uh, they will try to put together all of it into um, into a front web UI behind the scene, the artificial intelligence will work together with different payment modules, um, the, the training tool and the video loader and so on and so forth. So let's keep moving. Uh, here are some of the details about uh, the token model and uh, if you wish you can go through it. Okay, so let's try to see the token sale. The total amount of tokens released will be 450 million ADH. 60% will be available for token sale. 16% will be available uh, for network growth. 
11.5% for ad hoc founders with a locking period of 18 months 2% will be reserved 6% will be used for advisory board with a locking period of or vesting period of 6 months 3.5% for community and bounties and 1% for legal compliance so the pre sale will start on is scheduled to start on 31st so it's already started on 31st jan 2018 and it will be till 6th feb 2018 so the time i'm recording this is already over there were piece pre sale bonuses of 20% followed by 15% the actual token sale uh, the first phase starts on 21st feb and it will be until march 14th 2018 so if you are so if you are considering this uh, you still have time so in the first phase they target to accumulate 12 million dollars and first 5 million ads tokens investors would get 10 to 15% bonus which will uh, keep on decreasing further to almost no bonus okay let's move further so in the token sale phase 2 which is scheduled for quarter 3 and quarter 4 in 2019 and these there will be dates which will be announced later so what is the business model and execution plan so the key thing over here is reselling of the contacts with influencers audiences and providing complimentary complimentary services for video monitoring and analysis so the adfire platform will buys the uh, buys the views from influencers with discount and influencers gain access to mass advertising campaign So the platform margin is generated from the gap between bid and offer price. For example, if there were 1000 views which costs 20 ADH tokens for advertisers, while the influencer just gets 14 ADH for each 1000 view, 1 ADH per 1000 view transfer to the community for assessment and 5 ADH is retained by the platform. There where they gain the profit. Okay let's keep moving i will again skip some of these details these are about how they will um, put together the platform and uh, let's have a look to the rollout plan so initially they will release into europe and russia followed by us china followed by asia middle east australia and new zealand okay so they have Uh, from their budget 34 31% will be used for software and infrastructure development 32% will be used for marketing 17% for business development 10% for legal and administration cost and 10% for community development okay let's look at the road map so in 2017 they will be releasing the the first alpha version followed by in 2018 they will release in us uk germany and russia uh, the token sale will start and minimum viable product with minimal functionality for ad campaign will start in version 2 followed by version 3 and 4 so slowly they will as you can see they plan to release into different countries and they will keep expanding the product reach and features over the time they would like to also disclose some of the risks for contributors and um, they both are very low you can have a look if you would like to participate here as a con um, contributor they are uh, most of the risk as a legal security and business they are showing low there are some competitors like google video advertising I think this is what I mostly wanted to cover there are more details for those who would like to get involved as contributor or influencer or community member or the advertiser so you can go through the details uh, into this uh, pdf file so they are also showing some of the details in terms of their ui and they are using Uh, some of the frame frameworks like webwin framework uh, for the ui and they have also explained the token sale mechanism so 
I think this is all I wanted to cover in this video and I hope this would have helped you understand some of the key details. So thank you for